Hi guys, Pokemon TCG Lover here, and we are on PTCGO. We are going to be playing a few games of PTCGO. Firstly, using Galchomp Lucario. So let's get to it. We are going to be playing versus. I think I'll just give you guys a quick overview of the entire deck. So this is the entire deck. So, yep. So right now we are gonna be going to versus, and we're gonna be playing this deck in the versus section standard format. So, so we only have a bit more two rare candies. Twenty more. So we're gonna have a few battles. Garchomp Lucario, maybe a Rangru meal, and then we will, we will be doing a nice Passimian battle, I guess. So let's see Garchomp Lucario. I wonder what the opponent's playing. He's probably playing just a rubbish put together deck. Let's hope not. Okay, so of course I'm going first. We want to get out that first tier Bridget as much as possible. Yeah, there we go. We got we hit the first turn Brid Bridget. So and we also hit two Gibbles. So the Bridget is okay. That's fine with me. Okay, so. I think we should be doing a bit more PTCGO nowadays. Got a pretty good account here. Got, got like some Bridget, some Guzmas. Yeah, like I thought, he's playing a pretty um, put together deck, random put together stuff. So we'll take a Gibbo, a single Riolu, and probably, let's see. At 120 HP and 120 HP, show cards. We're gonna go for the Buzz Ball. Just pulled this from a Forbidden Light Pack. So we actually have another Forbidden Light Pack to open after this. So let's see. Trust Man. Okay, I think we will just end our turn right here. Yep, he's playing a Tierno, so it won't be a very like Vulcanian deck or, or in any which way. It, it, it just won't be a very competitive deck, sadly. So we are going to be seeing an escape rope from him, probably. I think I'll just go for the Gable, of course. Switching out a Gable for a Gable, very um, sensible. <laughs> I hope that we hit the Cynthia or any draw supporter. This turn, even an Ultra Ball for the Lele is fine. Play a single copy of Lele in this list. Not bad, actually. So, we see him hitting a Great Ball and hitting a Heavy Ball. I wonder what deck he's actually playing. We see him grabbing a Magnemite and he's grabbing the Gyarados. Um, he's probably playing just some sort of um, Smash Together deck. So, we should have a very good chance against him. And that's like right over here, we hit uh, the Tan. But at least we have the Enhanced Hammer. DCE of his. Let's go, take away the DCE. I don't want to place my choice one yet, so ju just in case he has like, what? Mm, field blowers. So, so I'm just getting pressed down. We, have, we actually play a, quite a few draw supporters in here. I wonder why we aren't hitting them. This is really depressing and sad. We want to be hitting those draw supporters faster. If not, we are like ruined. Oh, he's playing Judge. Yay! Thanks for the new hand, dude. Okay, so if he goes down to, let's see, I haven't actually read this, so if he goes down to what? Mm, four prizes? Um, I do 90 more damage. Actually, not bad. 
Okay, yay. This feels good. This is good, very good with me. So we see the gibble. Mm, we see the DCT, I think. And then, um, should I go Gabite on the active? I think I'll go Gabite on the venture. And then go just Sycamore away all of this nonsense. Yeah, get a fresh new hand of seven. Oof, we don't hit that, um... Mm. Uh, this is a bad starting. So... We hit the Mew EX. Let's see if this will actually help in this matchup. Anyone weak to Psychic? I don't think so, so... Yeah. Uh-uh, don't wanna venture it. I think that that's all we actually have for this turn. This is very depressing. Wow. Yes, we have to end without attacking. I don't even want to do the 20 damage. What if you ace a rollers? Yes, you only evolves. Tosses. Okay, great. We got the Cynthia. Okay, so probably we're gonna go. Fighting there, Mew. and then just go Cynthia. We don't want to bench the vulnerable Mew, Mew, because we see over here, 120, that's enough to knock out a Mew, and that will be giving up like two free prizes. Oh great, we finally got it. Yes. This is so much better. This, we feel like, okay, so we won't need that Ace Roller. Trust me, they, aren't, they probably aren't playing any EXs or GXs. We're just gonna grab a Garchomp, put it into our hand, and go Rare Candy into this Garchomp. Then I guess that we will just be going for um, a, a Lucario, I guess. We'll go for a Lucario. Have you touched energy for this turn? I'm not sure. Let's check this. So... So right now, let's see, this is the discard, I think I'll just go Lucario Precognitive Aura for a Guard Charm again. Grab the Guard Charm. So that we can get things nice and quick here. Win this, so... Do you want to do 50? Nope. We just want to go... 200 Yeah, 200 So this will probably be a long game So we really need To concentrate They are on their GXs, So this is very depressing very depressing I think that we will attach this to the bus roll, or to the guard jump, I think to the guard jump is a better idea. Let's be the bus roll. Oh, what are you doing? Two DCEs. I play Anna Porter and two Enhanced Hammer. I've used one Enhanced Hammer. I have an Enhanced Hammer and an Anna Porter. Oh, we see him retreating, so I have to hit the Enhanced Hammer to get that away. Great. Enhanced Hammer. Well, we'll just go Precognitive Aura. For let's go for the you see we got the Porter, we've got the enhanced hammer, we've got the rare candy, I think we'll go for the Cynthia, so wait, no no no. Let's show play that. You see this 80. So if we do it correctly, I guess that we can actually go for the enhanced hammer. Then we can take the active lock knockout using this enhanced hammer. Take the active knockout and or we could have just locked something in the active and just gone bam bam bam. But I think that this is a much better idea. So we see the royal blade. So we have yield. So that's bad for them. Bad for them. Okay, so we hit an Ultra Ball off the prizes. 
let's hope that that serves us a good purpose. We still have the Lele in the deck. Do you think that we could possibly go for the Guzma on this on this Magnemite later game? I think so. That sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah. Okay, so that's about all we have, and um, they are actually just gonna be waiting for a while. I'm not sure what they're doing back there. This is a very messy play from them. You see their discard. Three DCEs in the discard already. That's a bit off. It's not very nice. Three. Three DCEs. So at max they can only play four, so they only have one left in the deck. I wonder if they even play any basic or unit energy so that they can um, use their attacks at all. Who knows? So right now I think that we will just and then, and then maybe we will what, get into another game. Get that one, yay! We dealt 300 damage. Probably. Oh, yay! We hit it. Oh, yeah. Two more rare candies. So we are probably. Dark These two rare candies right in. Oh, yeah. This feels good. Okay. So, collection. We're gonna go to collection. We're gonna go to pack. Oh, we've got Forbidden Light, yay! One Forbidden Light pack, so... Let's see, we wanna open this guy. Open! This is the third Forbidden Light pack I'm opening. On PC, PC, PC. Oh, I, I haven't actually opened since I have in real life, so... I hope that we pull something good from here. Oh, double Ultra Space! Whoa! That's man. Oh, I already have a single Ultra Space. So these two, wow. What? I've got almost a playset of Ultra Space already after opening only three packs. There's like three Ultra Spaces from three packs. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Six for three coins. Okay, now we're gonna just go to what? Deck Manager. Do we wanna roll another game in Garchomp Lucario? No. Let's go for this. Okay, I'm just gonna skim through this. Show you guys what this guy's all about. Okay. One Hoopa. Where we are actually attempting a, a nice cool Oranguru meal. Oranguru looker meal. We are we are playing the crushing hammers. We are playing the enhanced hammers. Let's see, we are playing a um four enhanced hammers. Four crushing hammers, I think no. Um, and we are playing, um, oh, this is a bit of a messed up deck, let's see, we are playing 4 Lukers, we are playing Fairy Energies for the benefit of um, Fairy Garden, right back there, we are playing some X Potions, 3, but right, 4 Enhanced Hammers, I think 3 and um, Crushing Hammers. And a single Lele um, and uh, and some Orangaroos, trainers, energies. Yep. So let's go roll a game in the versus mood. Let's get this. This will actually be a pretty long battle. So let's see if we can actually do this. Milling is a very um, tedious task make one wrong move like I've done many many times and we're dead let's hope that this one goes well mm, searching looking for opponents well I hope that we get a good opponent this time let's see mm, this looks like drop a garb <laughs> Says easy as pi 3.141592653538. Well, that's most of pi. We've got a bit more pi, of course. We love pi. Okay, you you want me to repeat that? I, 
wait 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 no i forgot to to select well looks like we are gonna be rolling a game with Looks like we are going to be rolling a game with Garchomp Lucario instead. This is awful. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I think we should just concede. Yeah, let's just do a nice concede. Because I really want to roll the Orangaroo Mill. Just see what he's playing. Uh-uh. Inkay? Malamar? Nope. Goodbye. Let's just do some conceding business and then we're going to straight into our Rangaroo Mill. <laughs> so we need a Rangaroo Mill, totally. Mm, this is a Rangaroo Mill. Okay, great. Need to rename my decks. We actually have new deck too, which is Possimian. We've got a Rotom deck right over here with no gorges. We are playing it with um just Rotoms actually. Alolan Sandslash. The one that the tax for free. I hope that this guy is powerful. Ooh, that's a nice coin. Okay, let's call Tails. I love yeah. Tails. Okay, so we won the coin flip. And I want to go first. Totally. First is my thing. What's, what's thing? What's thing? Okay, so we got the worst possible start ever. Okay, I'm so happy. Yay. Oh, no, I'm not. I okay, it. I'm so not happy. So we got this R Ranguru in the active. Yep. Alright. Sometimes starting with this Oranguru is a bit of um a pain in the back, you might say. Ooh, so what's this number? Mm -hmm. is probably gonna go nest ball for do we want to go for the Hoopa? Mm -hmm. Haven't it, we haven't actually seen his deck? Um, probably he's playing Mega Camera. That's my probable, most probable thing. Okay, so yay. Well, let's just pass the turn and hope we hit these two crushing hammers. Great. Yay. If we can possibly let's see. We can possibly let's see. Hit this crushing hammer. Oh no, we failed. Let's hit this one. Come on. No, crushing hammers failed me. We will have to look our ooh. That hurts a lot, man. And let's, we will have to pal pat these guys back in totally. Okay, let's pal pat you guys back in. Ooh, we hit both of them. That is bad, man. Pretty bad. So we we will just have to pass. We missed them. How could we whiff such important stuff? So we see him going for the number. Oh, what's that Snorlax doing there? Yay! Heckle, 20 damage. Oh, do we want an Acer Roller? Let's go load this guy here. And we're gonna go an M. Let's go N. If we can hit a Fairy Garden here. Oh, yay! Wow, we hit that very garden. Oh, yeah. So, we want to go poison bar. Oops. Did it on the wrong one again. Now, we want to go Orangaroo Retreat. Yes. Go play Orangaroo. And then we're going to go Resource Management. Get back to Crushing Hammers. And if we can get back the nest ball, that would be amazing. Yeah, let's do that. So that we can get our super and protect this from that Snorlax. Big ol' Snorlax, you're gonna go down. Play the Huluka. Sorry, Snorlax. I'm going down. Okay, so we see another fairy garden. 
Yeah, we're gonna go look at. Let's go crushing hammer. I'm crushing hammer him. Now we hit tails again. This is bad. Oh yay, we hit heads. We're gonna go take this guy away. Goodbye. Okay, now we're just gonna go what nest ball for the Hoopa. Y'all love Hoopa. I'm gonna go Oranguru resource management for two crushing hammers and no, no, not the next one. We wanna get that Luca. Look her out of the deck. Or rather, look her into the deck. Basically. So, if you feel blue, let's wave this fairy garden. We got this fairy garden. Look at Hoopa. Hoopa's nice. Because when we have Hoopa, we don't have GXs. Yay! Okay, so we see the big card. Great. So he attaches and passes. Brilliant. Okay, so we're gonna go crushing hammer. Oh, we hit some of them. Oh no. Don't say we may be with them again. We're whiffing them time after time. After time, we have to go resource management once again. Get the two crushing hammers and the looker. And if you ask, I'm not trying to imitate Dark and the Glow Gaming. No, no, no. Snorlax. Pokemon Fan Club. Finally, now we see what his deck's made of. Come on, dude. Give us some stuff. Give me some good stuff. Oh, Charizard, great. Am I should I be happy about this? Sad, I think. Hmm. Well, well, well. We get the Looker and we get an Enhanced Hammer, which is actually pretty nice. Go, Crushing Hammer. Eliminate this. Because we have immunity against Snorlax anyway. Let's go crushing hammer again. Ooh, we lost. We whiffed that. We got a resource management in that. Okay, let's see what this transfer does. Mmm, nice. Mmm, thunderous snore. Mm, fun. Okay, that's alright for me. We're gonna go react dish. Oh, yay. More fire energies. Mmm, when they play fire, they should be playing Volcanion. Volcanion EX, Volcanion Turtonator. Yeah, those are. The but he's he just keeps on tackling with normal. Oh, hey, Team Flagrant, do it, I'm in. But no, we're gonna go use this. Gonna go crushing hammer and hit the tails. Woohoo! We're gonna whiff it again. Please don't whiff it. Oh yeah, we don't whiff it. We're gonna just mill him out of his energies. When he has no more energies, we stop. We just continuously put stuff back on the discard pile. So when we see that he's not attaching our energies, we stop milling him. Thirty-five, thirty-five. Oh, we're even. Let's hope that he draws a lot more. Oh, yeah, he professors on that turn. <laughs> Come on. Just gonna go look her again. Look her luck. Let's go. Crushing hammer. Heads. Oh, heads. Let's go. And when that big Snorlax guy comes in, we've got Hoopa to match him. Ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. 
So we're gonna just do the same crushing hammer, crushing hammer, looker. Done. Back in you go, guys. <laughs> well, we see them drop for the turn. 34 and 34. So we're getting even, man. Getting even. Oh, of course we are. When we draw three cards from the deck, we are actually just putting three back. So we are staying at the same pace. This is nice. So let's see what else he does. Well, Flareon and another Nummel. So let's see what that Flareon does. Hmm. Let's see. In your turn, you may move a fire and if you to another. Oh my gosh. Okay, so of course we will be going looker. Oh, he's angry now. I'm gonna go crushing hammer. Oh, yay. Let's hope he can see this. Hey, else. They go happy face. Hey, okay, should we retreat? Nah. Let's just go map um, resource management. Crushing hammer, crushing hammer. Look at uh, again. We can actually go for the wishy washy. I don't know. What is this? Oh, uh, what does she have infinite powers? Great, he's got less parts than us. So following the math, we should be up ahead. We are in the winning lane, guys. We're in the winning lane. We just want to keep on getting rid of his energies. So that he never ever gets enough energies to attack. But he has been attacking me, but it's for very little. Oh... Missed it. Oof. Okay, let's go Ultra Ball. Hmm. Uh, go resource management. Two crushing hammers. And look at her. We're gonna keep doing this for hours and hours and hours until we mill him down to nothing. Or either that or he got seized, which he probably will halfway in between. Because he's like so stumped. And plus we have this max potion in case he actually manages to get me down to like 100 and then I go retreat, max potion, bam. Oh, we see him go for the Evo Soda, we might uh, Ooh, he's milling himself. Oh yeah. And then we go enhanced hammer. Hmm. That feels fine. Oh, we forgot to look her. Go look her. Go on, look her. Got a crushing hammer. Ooh, we're gonna go heads. Uh, he's seriously losing his energies now. Oh, that's all of the energies he has on his field. So we see us doing a resource management for the fun of doing it. Nah, so that we can maintain the balance. We keep on getting cards back in and he keeps on drawing cards. So in the end, who wins? We win. That's how it really works. Ooh, he plays his next Evo Soda. Another camera like this. No, it's not the same camera. Like oh no, he's going for the Charmeleon. Oh. And you know what? You better go retreat. Yes. Go retreat. Oh, we, we forgot to look her. Let's go look her first. Look her is the most important. But we can't play Crushing Hammers. No. No. We got max potion of this guy. And then what? Fairy energy here. And then let's just do some resource managing. Enhanced hammer, max potion, and then look Max potion is a real really 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 useful. And I like the idea of using fairy garden. Because first of all, floatstone. Goodbye! 
Second of all, well, I just like Fairy Garden. It's my thing, man. Let's see what he's gonna concede. I just go, you have a good deck. When he actually doesn't. So what do we do? Do we max potion? Or do we just continue the look lock? Yeah, let's just continue the look lock. Wait, no, no, no. We don't want this Prowl Pet. We want this Fairy Energy. Yeah, let's go. There we go. <sighs> He's not hitting his energies. We're gonna have to do some milling. Why? You aren't hitting your energies, man. You just aren't hitting your energies. Well, we're totally overloaded with stuff. And you know what? Let's go for the wishy-washy. Because everyone loves the wishy-washy. Next time, should we just go Guzma or something? Just so lock it there for the entire game. Yeah, we go Guzma and Snorlax. Let's do that. Okay, we go resource management first. Just so that we can keep ourselves in check, make sure that we don't waste anything. And then we're gonna go Guzma on the Snorlax. Just because it's gonna be fun. Ooh, we see him use a Tiano, getting his hand. His deck size is going down little by little. Let's see. 21 cards left. We've got 27. So if we can get him into that position. It, oh, he still has got energies. Oh my gosh. Oh, he doesn't want to attach them. Wow. Mmm, he knows my tricks. Oh well then it's a bit too late already. I'm gonna go Guzma. Yeah well yeah we're gonna go Guzma. On your Snorlax. We're gonna lock you up there with my Hoopa. Then we're gonna go pass. Yeah, pass. Pass. There we go. Yay! Because we he goes attack with his amazing Snorlax dude. And we go doom. Hit you back. So technically he loses. Mm, sad. Sad for him. Let's see if we can get back into this game somehow. Ooh, he's powering that guy up. Oh my gosh. There's just a crushing hammer him. Sorry. So are we, dude? Oh, crushing hammer again. What? It hits tails double time. We're forced to go Guzma on this camera up. If this Orangaroo. Go Orangaroo. Resource management. Yes. Two crushing hammers. And the Guzma. Because you saw what Guzma did for us. Bought us a turn. And it got us back into gameplay. We see him back down to 15 cards. Oh my gosh, we're totally winning this match. Oops. We see him powering up. Dun, 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 dun. We have to draw. Oh, Volcano comes down. Yay. Yay, Volcania! Ram for 30. Boom! Boom, Shintia. Oh, good. Oh, no. Don't want Shintia. Let's go, Luca. Okay, so if we can hit both of these crushing hammers, that will be insane. Insane. Ooh, heads! One fire energy goes to the discard. Crushing hammer. Second fire energy goes to the discard. Resource management. 
and then energy goes in. No, crushing hammer goes in with a looker. I'm bored. How long more are we gonna do this? 14 more turns. Oh, what's he doing? Is he doing a max elixir play? I wonder what he's doing. Oh, he's going for the Evo Soda. Thought that he was going for the end. That was his. Ooh, there we go, Charizard, man. Should we go for the goose one? Which I'm sorry, make that goose one again. <laughs> Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Again. Let's just go look her. Uh, wait, no, there aren't any more crushing hammers to play. All right. I should make this deck in real life. That's cool, man. You're so wrecking me. I wonder what that wishy washy is even for. Oh, wait, it's for Zora. I just remembered. Mm -hmm. Enhance hammer target. Max potion too. First thing we do is of course look her. Get them back in hand. Then we do enhance hammer. Goodbye. And then we oh, he can't see that. Yes, I got people. Duh. Okay, so I guess that that's about all we will be doing for today. Garchomp Lucario. We won. We tested out a Rangaroo Mill. We won. I would call this a successful video. Yeah. Successful. Now we're just gonna go and pause this thing. Hey, pause. Yeah, goodbye. This is Pokemon TCG Lover signing off from PTCGO. And make sure to subscribe and like and comment down below. What's your favorite deck on PTCGO? And what are your worst matchups? Thank you and goodbye.